Hey everyone, tonight we have some paleo beef stew and over the past weeks I know a lot of you have been asking me um, what you should be eating, um, how you should prepare it and everything along those lines. So what I'm going to start doing is start capturing um, what I do to prepare my own meals and what I'm eating um, weekly. So you have some tidbits to take home and apply it into your fitness lifestyle. Paleo beef stew, this is what we got. Basic stuff here, vegetables, we got our celery, uh, garlic, tomatoes, uh, uh, carrots, I forgot what those are called, onions, quick tip on your onions, and I'm getting this in because Charlie uh, made sure I did. When you're cutting them to prevent the, the massive tearing from the eyes, uh, try and breathe through your mouth um, and not through your nose. So try that out and see if it works. So we got our meat here, beef stew meat. Um, just from Costco. I, it's not organic grass fed, but it was affordable and getting our protein in. So we'll be throwing in some chicken broth, some spices, tomato base, paste, and some sea salt. This is all going into the crock pot here. Uh, prep time was about 20 minutes. It'll take some hours in the crock pot, but it'll be um, awesome because you just throw it in, leave it, and in those uh, in that time you're waiting, you can go work on your squat or read up on some Oli lips, whatever you like to do for free time. Here is the kicker, uh, paleo chocolate pecan balls. Um, they're rolled in 80%, I believe, dark chocolate, no sugar added. Um, almond flour based, chopped pecans, and, and some other good stuff. An awesome paleo treat. So, um, just so you know that I do have these. Mm. Go ahead and message me for these recipes. They're awesome. Until next time. Um, Happy squatting.